hello Beetle friends and hello to everybody else watching. Great to see you all today. Hope all of you are doing wonderful and hope all of you are continuing to stay safe. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of both the Flame and Pie Deluxe box sets. I'm going to do an unboxing of the regular standard Deluxe Edition set which was purchased by a family member, a beloved family member. And I'll be doing an unboxing of the big gigantic collector's edition set so hope you enjoy this unboxing of the flame and pie deluxe box sets and here we go okay here's the new flame and pie deluxe edition box set close up of the box set here nice cloth bound cover here with an image of the front cover on the front here And here's the back of it. Uh, this one, as usual, comes with a, a cardboard tray to hold the box. And here's the number. 08241. Here's both the insert and the hype sticker I've saved. Let me show you a close up of the hype sticker. I tried getting the hype sticker off the plastic, but the hype sticker was being so stubborn that I decided I'm going to leave the hype sticker on the plastic and just cut the plastic off and and save the hype sticker like that. So uh, that's the hype sticker. Information on the hype sticker. And here's the insert with the track list. Further details about everything that's in this deluxe box set. And here's the track list. I just removed the cardboard tray that holds the box. Now to show you all sides of the box and then I'm going to open the box and quickly show you everything that's inside this box. Everything that's in this box will be in the collector's edition box. When I show you the collector's edition box I will open the book, the folder and, and show you all contents when, when I get to the collector's edition box. But when I show the deluxe edition here I'm just going to breeze through everything. So here's the front cover, cloth bound design around here, and the spine side of the box, and here's the back of the box with the Flame and Pie logo and the number. Go back to the front cover. Let me remove the magnetic flap on the side and quickly show you everything in this set. Here's a note from Paul that's attached to this side of the set. When you open it, that's a note from Paul. Let me quickly show you everything that's in here. I'm not I'm not gonna open the book or the folders just gonna quickly go go through everything in this set uh, you're gonna see these in in the collector's edition box so that this is a book here with notes and rare photographs and here's a folder here with all the cds and dvds and the download card nice embossed photo right there And that's where the that's the image that is used on the CD label. And right here are the the handwritten lyrics and I believe some news articles too 
Uh, the, the, this is mainly handwritten lyrics. You, you're going to see everything that's in this folder here. And this one is a reproduction of the Club Sandwich article about the Flamin' Pie album. And this one is a, a reproduction of the songbook, which was made by Paul's assistant, John Hamill. That was a quick unboxing of the new Flamin' Pie Deluxe Edition box set. Now to show you the big, gigantic Collector's Edition box set. Here's a close-up of the new Flamin' Pie Collector's Edition box set. This huge box set just arrived after a long wait. The box was shipped on July 31st, which was a release date of the Flamin' Pie archive reissue. It took some time to get here, but it arrived safe and sound. And as, as soon as I came home and it was sitting on the porch, I picked up the set and couldn't believe how heavy and huge the thing is. Uh, it's like carrying a piece of furniture, in my opinion. I, I, I had to use both hands to carry this box set in, into the house. But here it is. I'm going to show you everything that's inside this set. Here's a close-up of the front of the box with the artist, the album, and the format, and the number right here, which is 1396, or 1,396 out of 3,000 copies made of this Flamin' Pie Collector's Edition set. I want to show you one more thing before I open this big box. Uh, on the bottom of this box is the Flamin' Pie box set barcode. Thought I'd show you the barcode here, if you don't mind. Let's open up this bad boy, shall we? Let me remove the flap on the side here. This was how the package was sealed. It was sealed with clear plastic tape. I have cut the plastic tape so I can open the package. And here's the huge collector's edition of Flamin' Pie. I will remove all that here in a little bit. And let me go to this side here. All the information about everything that's in this collector's edition set. I want to show you one more quick thing before I open this set. I want to show you this nice embossed flame and pie sticker. I'm going to carefully open this flame and pie collector's edition set. I took the collector's edition set out of the package. And I want to show you one more thing before I go inside this set. Have the copyright information on the back here. Here's a close up of the huge Flamin' Pie Collector's Edition box set. As you can see, the front cover is a bit different from the regular Deluxe Edition front cover. This one uses the entire photo image of Paul and the guitar, which was taken by Linda. On the front cover of the deluxe edition, the regular one, uh, it uses the headshot from this photo. It's also the same headshot used as the front cover of the actual album. Uh, it's the same kind of design. Have the cloth bound design of the box and a nice glossy photo right there attached to the set here's the back of the flame and pie collector's edition set same kind of design as the regular deluxe edition set 
except this one is huge. Flame and Pie logo right there. And my number, number 1,396. 3,000 copies made of this big collector's edition set. Now to open the Flame and Pie collector's edition box set. The way this box opens is different from the regular deluxe edition box set where you have to remove the magnetic flap on the, the side to open the set. This one I have to pull the front off, the front of the box here. I'm going to do it very carefully here. Okay, I have opened the box. And here's the same note from Paul attached to the box here. I'm going to show you everything in this set. The first item I'm going to show you from this Flame and Pie Collector's Edition set is actually the first item you see when you open the set. This is a marbled art print portfolio which includes six Linda McCartney art prints. And this one is, is huge. It's the size of the box, almost the size of the box. Back of it, same design on the back. And let me open this portfolio. Limited edition art prints, photography by Linda McCartney. Here are the six art prints. I have removed all six art prints from underneath the flaps in this portfolio. I'm going to go through all six art prints one by one. The first one I'm going to show you is uh, this photo of Paul, which is used as the cover of the collector's edition box set. And it's also used as the front cover of the World Tonight single black and white photo and right here on the bottom right is the flame and pie symbol which is embossed symbol of flame and pie the flame and pie logo it's on all six of these art prints We're going to go on to the next art print photo of Linda with one of her horses And here's a photo of Paul at the beach. This photo was used as the front cover of the Young Boy single. And here's another nice picture of Paul. And here's a photo which was used on the back cover of the actual album. Another photo of Linda by the beach. The next contents I'm going to show you are the vinyl records. All of the vinyl records are placed in this plastic wraparound. And also, under this plastic wraparound is a Paul McCartney guitar pick. Close-up of the Paul McCartney guitar pick. On the other side is the Flame and Pie logo. Going to remove the plastic wrap around and show you all the vinyl records one by one. The first thing you see here is the Flame and Pie Half Speed Remastered 2 LP reissue. What's interesting about this, you don't see 
the Flame and Pie title here or Paul McCartney on the bottom? Here's the back cover of the album. Another major difference. You don't see the track list for the album. And let me show you the gatefold. This booklet was inside the album gatefold. Uh, this is a booklet with all the lyrics, the, the songs on the album, as well as quotes from Paul about every song on the album, and also the, the musicians that played on the songs. This reissue is dedicated to Linda, George Martin, and Jeff Emmerich. The vinyl album in this collector's edition set comes with two more inserts. The first insert I'm going to show you is the half-speed mastering details from Abbey Road mastering engineer Miles Showa. Miles Showa did the, the half-speed mastering work on this vinyl reissue. And right here is the embossed portion of the note. And here's the notes from Miles Showal about the, the half speed mastering of this vinyl reissue. The original vinyl first pressing of this album was originally a single LP, but this vinyl reissue is a two LP set because the original vinyl pressing, the entire album, which is a little over 50 minutes, was mastered on one vinyl LP. And the sound quality is not the greatest on that, even though it's still cool to have this, the original single LP pressing the first pressing of the album on vinyl in my opinion i think it's a better move to make this vinyl reissue a two lp set for better sound and pressing of the album on vinyl and i'll be playing the vinyl reissue more than the original vinyl pressings i want to keep the originals in better shape i have showed this insert in my unboxing of the three lp set so this one is also in the 3LP set. The next insert I'm going to show you is a note from Paul. This insert is exclusive to this Flame and Pie Collector's Edition set. And this note, this revised note is based on the original note that, that Paul included with the original test pressing of the album before the album came out. Uh, Paul and Linda sent out test press and copies of the Flame and Pie album over to friends and close ones, uh, the ones that Paul call extremely groovy people. And here's a close-up of the note. Let me quickly show you the vinyl records. Here's record one of the album. And here's the actual vinyl record. The vinyl records part of this collector's edition set will remain unplayed. I'll be playing the three LP set, which is separate. Here's record two of the album. Here's a close-up of the vinyl record, record two of the album.
The next vinyl record I'm going to show you is the Home Recordings album. Here's an insert that's included in the Home Recordings album. Here's the track list. And here's the vinyl record in the red inner sleeve. I took the vinyl record out of the inner sleeve. I'm going to show you a close up of the vinyl record. The last vinyl record I'm going to show you in this set, and only available in this Flame and Pie Collector's Edition set, is a 12-inch single of The Ballad of the Skeletons by Allen Ginsberg, featuring Paul McCartney. Front cover, which is embossed. This song was recorded around the time of the Flame and Pie album, and the music video was released around the time of the Flame and Pie album too. And I have to say, I like that song, The Ballad of the Skeletons. I've 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 I liked it ever since I watched the music video of it. I think it was on VH1 I watched the music video. And I like talking songs sometimes, so I I I did enjoy the Ballad of the Skeletons song and the video too. So back of the 12 inch single. I also want to add that after the Ballad of the Skeletons was released, Alan Ginsberg sadly died. May he rest in peace, Alan Ginsberg. And here's the poster that's included in this 12 inch single of the Ballad of the Skeletons. Here's a better look at the insert. These are the lyrics to the song The Ballad of the Skeleton. And here's the vinyl record in a gray inner sleeve. Here's a close up of the vinyl record. 12 inch single of the Ballad of the Skeletons. Plays at 45 RPM. And here's the etch side. Nice etch side. All the skeleton images. The next content I'm going to show you is a 128 page book. This book includes rare photographs and stories behind the making of the Flame and Pie album. Close up of the book. Quick, we go through the book here. Place the book down.
some real nice photos in, in this book. Uh, th this one is one of them. Right here you have a, a recipe book attached to the page. Flame and Pie Recipe Book. Six Recipes by Linda McCartney. More nice photos. That's that's Paul and Steve Miller. Always love that photo of, of Paul and Jeff Lynn. Some paw poems there. That's Paul with Alan Ginsberg. All right, that's the end of the 128 page book. The next thing I'm going to show you is a CD portfolio, which includes all the CDs and DVDs. Here's a close up of the CD portfolio. Back of it with an embossed photo, piece of art. All the CDs right here. Here are the DVDs in the booklet. Here's a booklet that's included in the CD portfolio. It's the same thing as the booklet in the vinyl record set. 
has the lyrics to all the songs. But this one has information about the bonus CDs and the two DVDs. Before I show you the CDs and the DVDs, here's the Paul McCartney Archive Collection insert. Backside. For more information on forthcoming releases in the Paul McCartney Archive Collection, please visit paulmccartney.com. There is word that London Town and Back to the Egg are the next titles in the Paul McCartney Archive Collection series. And here's the download card, real nice download card. The, the download card includes a code to download the high-res files, the 2496 high-res files of all the audio that's in this set. The first CD I'm going to show you is the remastered Flame and Pie album. The next CD I'm going to show you is the home recording CD. The next CD in the studio Next up Flaming Pies. The last CD, Flaming Pie at the Mill. Now to show you the two DVDs, the first DVD I'm going to show you is the documentary titled In the World Tonight, the making of the Flame and Pie album. And I forgot to show the original DVD in my Flame and Pie collection video. Here's the original DVD of In the World Tonight. All right, back to the, the archive reissue. And finally, here's the bonus film DVD. I have a few more items to show you in this Flame and Pie Collector's Edition set. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a folder which includes Replicas of the original song lyrics that were written by Paul McCartney and, and other inserts. So let me open this folder nice and carefully. Take out everything that's, that's in this folder. This envelope includes replicas of the original handwritten lyrics by Paul and also includes a replica of a newspaper article about the Flame and Pie album. And that's the first thing you see right here. The Flame, a newspaper article about the Flame and Pie album. Now to show you the reproductions of the original handwritten lyrics by Paul. The first handwritten lyrics I'm going to show you are for the opening song 
on the album, which is titled The Song We Were Singing. The next handwritten lyrics I'm going to show you is for Love Come Tumbling Down, which is a non-album track on the Beautiful Night CD single, the, the first version of the Beautiful Night CD single. Next handwritten lyrics. Nice draw in there. And this one is for the, the song Same Love, which is on the Beautiful Night CD single. It's, it's the, the second version of the Be Beautiful Night CD single. Real nice draw in there. Um, yeah, the, the lyrics, The Same Love. Next handwritten lyrics I'm going to show you is, is for the song Young Boy. It has the, the chords to Young Boy. If you want to learn how to play the song. Next handwritten lyrics. Uh, it's another one for young boy. And right here it, it was titled Fine Love. But I like young boy better. I think young boy is a much better title than fine love. And it was originally called Poor Boy. It, when when Paul wrote the song, it was Poor Boy. But I I think Young Boy is a lot better. And here's the handwritten lyrics to a rare song called Love Mix, which is on one of the Ubu Jubu tracks. The next handwritten lyrics I'm going to show you is for The World Tonight. This is the first part of The World Tonight handwritten lyrics. And here's the lyrics about hiding from the paparazzi. And the next handwritten lyrics I'm going to show you. Let me make out what this song is. Oh, this is for the song Souvenir. The last handwritten lyrics I'm going to show you, the reproduction of the original handwritten lyrics, is for the song Little Willow. The next content I'm going to show you is a reproduction of the Club Sandwich magazine that was published when Flame and Pie came out. And the reproduction is placed in this nice envelope. Club sandwich envelope. That's the Paul McCartney Fun Club address. The Paul McCartney Fun Club is no longer active. And here's the Club Sandwich magazine about Flame and Pie. My father used to be a member of the Paul McCartney Fun Club while it was active. 
and he, he used to receive the club sandwich magazines in the mail from the fun club and he still has them in his collection i'm gonna have to look for those and do a video showing you the the club sandwich magazines if i find them uh, here's the back of the magazine and the paul mccartney fun club ended when linda mccartney passed away back in 1998 and they 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 publish one one more magazine uh, about Linda's passing, and after that, uh, Paul seized operations. Now, let me show you the inside of this magazine. Nice reproduction. The last thing I'm going to show you in this Flame and Pie Collector's Edition set is a songbook which includes facsimiles that were created by John Hamill, who is Paul McCartney's personal assistant. Close up of the songbook. Go through this songbook here. And the songbook includes photos. Notes about the song Flame and Pie. And here's a photo of Paul's Hoffner bass. Photo of a Mellotron. Some other keyboards as well. There's a photo of, of uh, what looks to me like a classical guitar. A classical acoustic guitar. Here's a photo of Paul's Gibson Les Paul. That's a gold top Les Paul. And it is a lefty. Real nice one. Paul's Epiphone Casino. The actual one he used on a lot of the Beatles recordings. When he would play lead guitar. That is a Les Paul, but it's a custom Les Paul, I believe. Some more photos. Have a sitar here. I want to make sure I didn't miss any pages. And I think that's it. That's the songbook with notes created by John Hamill. Paul McCartney's personal assistant. Before I end this Flame and Pie unboxing video, let me show you both of the Flame and Pie box sets. The regular deluxe edition on the right, and of course the collector's edition on the left. That wraps up this video showing you both the Flame and Pie box sets. I just showed you the regular standard deluxe box set and the big gigantic collector's edition set. Hope you enjoyed seeing both sets in this unboxing video. 
and stay tuned for more videos and talk to you all later. Thank you for watching and please continue to stay safe.